Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. A lot of people refer to the default Android browser as Chrome, when in fact, it's just the default Android browser. It's not Chrome. Today, Google has released Chrome Beta for Android, and it has a lot of really cool features and a really impressive UI that really takes advantage of fast devices with a lot of RAM. Uh, let's take a look at it now. And so this is an ice cream sandwich app, and one of the coolest things that it does is it allows you to play shift from your desktop to your phone. A lot of other browsers allow you to do this, that is, have the tabs that are open on your desktop be also open on your phone, but now we finally have it in Chrome. A lot of people use Chrome, and they really didn't have that fluidity between desktop and between mobile browsers. So let's go into Chrome beta here, and right now we are looking at The Verge, and it's got some really cool UI features. For example, if we go up to the tabs here, we can actually flip through our tabs, and if we want to discard one, we chuck it off the screen. Here's one of my favorite features. You can switch between tabs by swiping to the left or to the right in this case. And look how smooth that is. How many times are you switching between multiple web pages and you wish there was a faster way to do so without having to peck up here to the open tabs and, and click that way? As you can see, performance is very, very smooth. And let's say you want to open up a new tab. So we can go up here to New Tab. And by the way, you saw some of the options up here. New Tab, New Incognito Tab, Bookmarks, Other Devices, which we'll talk about in a sec. Find in Page, kind of a search, Settings, and Help. You can kind of see the Ice Cream Sandwich interface. The Back button is hidden out of sight, and the Forward button. And so down here, we have three choices if we want to open up a new tab. Number one is sort of the speed dial view that you get in Chrome on the desktop. So it keeps track of recently visited web pages so very quickly you can jump to any page that you've been to already over here to the right we have bookmarks and this is syncing directly with my my desktop so I can always have my bevy of bookmarks in my pocket and over to the right this is probably the coolest part this is actually synced with my computer my PC so these three tabs are open right now on my desktop and let's say I had 10 tabs open because there are 10 things I wanted to read later. I can go into Chrome on my Android phone, pull up this screen and see all of these tabs that are open waiting for me to view them. So a really cool interface, pretty fast, not the fastest browser certainly. Let's go to the desktop version of Pocket now and see how long that takes. Definitely competitive in terms of performance. Flick down the page as it's loading. Uh, it's having a little trouble loading the page, kind of, kind of get a blank spot. This is definitely in beta form. In fact, it has crashed several times already. And this is the Galaxy Nexus, the flagship uh, Google phone right now. So performance isn't that good. I expect with time that this is going to get really, really good. And it's really re refreshing to have this new interface that lets you swipe quickly between tabs. It really increases productivity. So it's. In beta, it's in the Android market, and there's no reason why you shouldn't try it if you have an ice cream sandwich device. We'll put a link up in the description so you can go check out Chrome Beta for Android Phone and let us know what you think about it. That's it for now.